Hello everyone and welcome to Diablo 3 Reaper of Swords. Today is a Demon Hunter build and currently my gear as you can see does not have any fire elemental damage on it even though this build which I'll be calling Fire in the Hole does and it is a grenade build. I'll go over its details in a second. I'm just showing you that currently there is no real requirements, no cooldown requirements reduction requirements, no cost reduction requirements. It does require fire damage but the fire damage is pretty mandatory for well elemental damage is pretty mandatory for any and all builds right now. So our first our hatred re generator is grenade with grenade cash. This gives us some AoE. Mm. You could change it to any of the other fire variants, which is only three. The reason for keeping it as grenade is because we have grenade deer down here, which increases our grenade damage by 10% and the radius by 20%. Now we have rapid fire of bombardment, which does 512% weapon damage as fire of, fire of a nine yard radius as a grenade. Then we have Rain of Vengeance with the Shadow Beast dropping the 5,400% grenade damage over 5 seconds. Then we have Companion. Now Companion, this slot is actually free and open for whatever you want. I just use it because I want that hatred just to come back to me sometimes instead of having to go and use my resource generator so I can just keep spamming my rapid fire instead. Though for you, you can do whatever you want there. Now we have smoke screen, it's mandatory but you do not need to use the rune I'm using which increases it to 1.5 second duration. Uh, if you're gonna change it, I would suggest anything but the special recipe because that 12 second cooldown will screw you over. Because mostly for this build you'll be standing still. You can easily tell that by the skill set. Then we have Vengeance with the personal mortar rune. This dishes out grenades instead of the rockets. This is not really mandatory. I found it was the best to fit into the build. We have Night Stalker which gets that smoke screen up more often for us. You don't really need it, replace it if you want. The other three you do need and cannot replace. The Perfectionist, it's pretty mandatory for survivability. Then we have Grenadier, which increases our damage. And then we have the Building, which gives us a large life regen per second from standing still. So quickly, we'll go and do this boss. The build does the same amount of damage AoE wise as it does single target except for ridiculously large groups then it might do less against that group. But for now this will give you a determination of how much damage it actually does with this skill set before you add in the fire elemental damage which is really needed compared to to actually make this build work better than I already have it going because my gear does not support the fire elemental damage needed for this build. As you can see I haven't really been using the smoke screen because that life regen per second from building is ridiculously good. It, it just doesn't make smoke screen really needed right away. Smoke screen is kind of there for safety net reasons. The build should be able to carry you by itself. You might see your HP dip. It might go lower. If it goes to like two thirds of your health, you might want to start using smoke screen if it's not a dire situation which you already have been using it. I'll see you guys in the next video. So now that the video is over, I want to tell you why I uploaded the Witch Doctor video instead of remaking it. Because I usually remake it if it's that bad. Well, actually, 
that's pretty bad compared to some of the other ones I've been made, but pretty good compared to other ones I've been made. But that isn't the it has nothing to do with that. The reason why I didn't remake it or, and just posted it is because on the 20th of this month, Sunday of April, I will no longer be making Diablo 3 videos for YouTube specifically. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop making videos altogether. I mean, just ones for D3. They'll be going on to streaming for that. The videos might have highlights at times, but you will see more Diablo 3 videos on YouTube. Just I won't be making them specifically for YouTube after the 20th of this month. 